Uh, hi everyone, this is Akash and I'll today show you how to install tail scale using Docker Compose. The one we did earlier that used to run in user space, which didn't work for everybody, but this will work for everybody. And I'll also show you how to do exit nodes, subnet routing, magic DNS, everything that you need on your um, uh, tail net. Okay, so click on create project. Uh, we are going to use project, which is basically Compose. Give it any name, whatever name you give, a directory will be created with the same name. And this is the Docker Compose file that I'll use. Okay. You will have the, a link to this um, file in uh, in description. This is the part where we have given access to the uh, tunnel device of host. Okay, this couldn't be done in the earlier tutorial. That's why that used to run in user space. Uh, this will make sure that your your container uh, has access to tunnel device. Uh, a volume with the name of tailscale data will be created under this directory, which is defined here as the state directory. So this is where all your data will be saved, and this will have the state. So once you disconnect it, whatever configuration you do will be persistent. This is the only part that you need to change, TH auth key. Okay, so let's get our auth key. Let's go to our tail scale, log into tail scale, go to machines, click on add device, a Linux server, and generate install script, and you will see the auth key here. This is the latest auth key, control C, and control V and deploy all right the container is created okay uh, go to your machine you see the machine is here it's connected now you don't see here any exit route you don't see subnet and if you click on edit route settings you will see here that there is no exit node and there is no route that is currently being um, um, advertised All right, so we will now run a few commands. Uh, this is a project. This project is running a container. So go to the container, tail scale, go to the terminal, and add a terminal bin asset. So what we're trying to do is we are trying to get into the container's terminal. Once we get into the container's terminal, you can run a command here. Tail scale up, add for ties exit node accept roots accept dns is equal to true okay so accept dns is equal to true is um, our magic dns and i'll explain what what that does uh, advertise exit node um, will make it an exit node. Uh, accept route will uh, be required for accepting it as the route so your other machine can also get the data back. And we will advertise the route also. Now this is of course all optional, all right? your your tail scale is up and running you can already access your machine but what happens with this is we are here advertising the exit node okay we are also making it a magic dns with magic dns what happens is don't have to remember that 10 dot 0 dot that long ip address you don't have to remember that so you can access it with a easy to remember uh, uh dns and with the route now my, this is the IP address that I use on my network. If you use any other uh, IP address, you can use that here, um, the range with the subnet. Um, and you'll be able to access any machine on this network with, um, when you're connected to uh, your tail net, your tail net. Okay, so then let's, uh, let's run this. Uh, no. Invalid. Ah, okay, I made a mistake here. True. All right, done. Now, when you go back here, you will see that subnets and exit nodes are both enabled here, right? They were not here earlier. One more step, you go here, go to edit route settings, authorize this, authorize user's exit node, and save. Now, this is going to work as the exit node. Okay, this is done. Subnet enabled. By subnet enabled, what I mean is that if you have any other machine, 
you will be able to print to your network printer for example when you're connected to your uh, uh, telnet okay and finally the magic route let me show you the magic dns also you have to go to the dns this is your magic dns okay so now you can access any machine using this plus machine name so my machine name here is called dsp 800 plus ca4 so what i can do is let's see if it was dsp8800 then i could access my machine as dsp8800 dot tail18a5.ts.net i don't have to remember this 1030 30, no sorry i don't have to remember this 169 okay this is what magic dns does so to do magic dns you need to do a few things go to dns and enable it you have to enable it i just enabled it but by default this is enabled uh, this is disabled okay so enable this add here one name server any name server either cloudflare or whatever and then override dns name these settings have to be there override dns servers this overnight dns servers will only become visible to you once you have added a name server so add a name server then override it and that's all that you need okay so this is it uh, i showed you how to uh, uh, add subnet how to route subnets uh, how to use it as an exit node and how to enable uh, the uh, magic dns as well so i am now connected to my network dsp8800 is the name of my machine and this is my dns yes i can do that this works let's see if subnet routing works so if I try to ping any other device, this works. This wouldn't have worked otherwise because this device, uh, 214 device, it doesn't have any um, uh, tail scale running on it. But since uh, uh, Ugreen uh, has access to this, I get access to this as well once I'm connected to my tail scale. So this is all. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask them and I'll uh, reply as usual. Thank you.